Watch out for the cow. Hi. Wait. What are we doing? Testing out Daddy's motorcycle because he had to fix it and make the battery. It's literally right behind you. I can't see it. Oh, that thing. Yeah, that. Are you ready? Yeah. For me to try it? Yeah. I don't have any of the I'm ready. frame on there or the other parts. Yeah. Doing Christmas lights. Yeah. It's so fun. Yep. Is this thing flashing? Yeah. Yeah? Yep. Should be working. Okay. Oh, yeah. this thing sits high. Hey, Lily, don't knock my camera over. Okay, here I go. Here you go. Feels so weird. Coasts so well. Okay, wait, 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 wait. So look. This is pretty cool. It's actually really fun to watch my kids and what they're saying and how they're reacting. But to be honest, I really just want to show you a few other things, which is the actual test of me going out and doing a full speed run and a few other things. So let's watch that and then I will continue with this little fun footage at the end. And you guys who want to watch it can watch it to the full end with all the kids being crazy and hilarious. It is actually quite funny. So uh, let's jump into that footage right now. It's all the way up. That might be a little easier to see. So 40 is straight up on that dial now. Get my glove back on. I'm very curious to see how many amps she pulls at full tilt. I really don't know. I really don't like the chain rubbing. Okay, beautiful mountains, long stretch of road. Here we go. Clamp meter looks okay. So we're at 53.2. And uh, here we go. I'm going to leave both cameras facing down while I go so I can see everything. It's got full throttle it. not bad so I believe that's a hundred amps is what we're seeing right there so I'm gonna shut my visor so I can actually not have wind against my face let's try it again okay here we go
regenerative rate gain. So you'll see that. So we might have got up to 45 or so. This time I want to look down and see actually what it's uh, what it's showing. I can't see it with my eyes when I look up. So here where she goes. Okay, so this time I'm just going to give it a nice amount all the way through. Just kind of cruise nicely instead of this terrible start, fast start I should say. So I'm just going to kind of bring it up to speed and see what, see what like uh, 35 mile an hour looks like on the current meter. So yeah, if I brought it up real smooth amps are pretty low. I was hoping to keep it around 50, 60 amps. So it looks like I could do that. At 35, 75 amps. There's full throttle again. It picks up at the high end at that. That's actually not bad. See how fast I can stop. Alright, I'm gonna do an actual brake check at the end. It's gonna the brakes are not calibrated, they're not set. I probably need some stuff in them, but I'm really curious to see at what at what speed can I really stop. So when I hit the uh when I hit the uh thing down here, the new pad, I'm just gonna slam on the brakes. So here we go. Pretty good. That was that's the back tire sliding. Look at it, slid the whole way. Wow, smell the rubber burning. Wonder what the tire actually looks like. Uh, it's not too bad, but I can smell it. Oh, I can't get back on. Okay. Wow, that's interesting. Let's try a brake check the other direction. This time I'm gonna try not to let the tire slide. Yeah, if I put a nice ramp start on this thing, so it travels real nice and easy instead of full throttle. Put a ramp up on there, oh, that works pretty good. Alright, let's try a brake check here. It's kind of scary to do a brake check like that. There we go, that time I didn't slide. That was a, a much better brake test. Okay, well, it looks like, uh, you know, everything's running. Everything's working. And uh, it looks like my top speed is still about... Well, it's a... Whoa, I fell off the back. <laughs> it's about 45. I leaned backwards and pulled the throttle at the same time. about threw me off. Brakes need some work. Back one's actually dragging, it's a little bent. So it looks like we can get 
get about 150 amps out of the battery. I want to know what top speed is under not full throttle. Ooh, this thing sure coasts well. Apparently that axial flux motor does a superb job at free roll because there's no iron in the uh, there's no iron in the stator. Sorry, in the uh, stator at all permanent magnet in the uh, armature, which means there's no real drag on the magnet motor permanent magnets in there. So I'm gonna go real slow again. I'm gonna get up to the speed right before the throttle jumps, kind of jump starts and takes off on me. To see what that cruising speed is, to see what that current is. Okay, well, I guess we can head back. Looks like our voltage is still holding in there very nicely. I'm not sure if I could feel the heat from the battery out here, but I'm kind of curious if, you know, the battery's warm. Battery cables don't feel warm to my hands. All right, cool. Kind of curious if I hold the front brake, will it do a burnout? No. What's the maximum stall current when I do that though? Here we go. Huh. We maxed out at like 60. That thing sure does get up and go though. I can't do a 0 to 60 speed tire because it doesn't go 60 miles an hour. So I'm going to go down in the sprocket size and that should get me a little bit more efficiency everywhere and then we'll see how that runs. I got a 22 sprocket coming. This is a 28 on here right now. Alright well let's head back home. I think this test is good and concluded. I'm happy with it. Successful test. I'm happy with that. Let's get all out of our so-called crash pad here. I made it through here last time without putting my feet down, but not this time apparently. Coming in at the wrong angle. Oh, the mirror is way off. I can bolt it on the wrong side. Very good. Oh, you can see the chain?
Gotta test the brakes. Was it sliding? What's sliding? My tire. No, no, it wasn't. Did it slide that time? It slid that time, right? It it's sliding. What are you talking about? That's sliding. Perfect. Brake check. Okay. <clears throat> now I need to go around the block. Definitely moving. Alright, let's go strap the GPS to it so we can actually see what speed we're getting to. That's, that's about all I can get. I want to just slide it out. That was a good stop. All right, let's go get my GPS. And I want to go out on the other road. All right, well that's the end of that. Um, in fact, uh, I actually end up changing the sprocket, so you'll see that probably in the next video. So uh, look forward to that. Maybe I'll actually change my clothes for the intro and the outro. Peace and love. God bless. Don't forget to leave thumbs up, thumbs down. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. And uh, yeah, appreciate all your feedback, and I appreciate you watching and enjoying this interesting project. It's been fun so far. I keep looking over here because I'm looking at it. It's just sitting right there. Oh. Anyway, it's a fun little project, and uh, I actually took this thing out and did some dirt jumps, small ones, and I'd like to film that too because you know I haven't wrecked it yet. Hopefully, I don't wreck it, but you know it'd be fun to watch. But hopefully, I don't. It'd be fun to watch me not wreck it.
Okay, see you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.